Hi guys, today we are resuming our anatomy. Uh, last video we discussed about the uh, scapula, the structure of scapula we shortly introduced. Now we are resuming, uh, today we will study the structures associated with the scapula, okay? And we will deal all upper lip anatomy. So, okay, first of all, structures. Attached to coracoid process. You remember what is coracoid process, right? Yes. Last class we discussed coracoid process structures attached to the coracoid process. Coracoid process is on the scapular region, a process above scapula. Okay. Now, at the tip of coracoid process, at the tip of coracoid process, what is originating there? From the tip of coracoid process, there is common origin of very important common origin of short head of biceps, short head of biceps and the other muscle that is coracobrachialis from coracoid process to the brachial that is arm. Brachial means arm, right? So from coracoid process to the arm that is common origin of short head of biceps and coracobrachialis okay then at the superior surface of coracoid process the superior surface of coracoid process here a main muscle is inserted not origin insertion of insertion of pectoralis minor okay not major we have already studied where pectoralis major is inserted that is in lateral lip of bicipital groove now insertion of pectoral, pectoralis minor is in superior surface of coracoid process so connect so in the last videos we discussed about pectoralis major and all uh, now this is insertion of pectoralis minor in the superior surface of coracoid process okay now I told you at the T7 level we have inferior angle of scapula okay thoracic 7 right now we will deal with structures on attached to the inferior angle of scapula okay angle of scapula I already explained you scapula is having ventral or Coastal surface and and dorsal surface. In the ventral or coastal surface, there the four the last four digits of serratus anterior is inserted. Okay, the last four digits of serratus anterior. The muscle serratus anterior is inserted. We will study about this muscle. Now just remember in the ventral or coastal surface, last four digits of serratus anterior is inserted. Right? Then on the dorsal surface, in the ventral or coastal surface, last four digits of serratus anterior is inserted. Serratus anterior is a muscle, it is having some digitations okay so they are having some digitation digitation means like finger like projections so serratus anterior muscle is here so it is having some digitation so last four digits of the serratus anterior is inserted in the ventral or coastal coastal surface of scapula okay on the medial side okay in the dorsal surface we have origin of origin of a important muscle that is latissimus dorsi okay we will deal with these muscles later okay just now know the structures attached to the coracoid process i told you from tip we have common origin of short head of biceps and coracobrachialis on the superior surface of coracoid process there is insertion of pectoralis minor and the structures associated attached with in the inferior angle of scapula that is inferior angle is in t7 level right you remember last last video t7 level so in ventral or coastal surface <coughs> The last four digits of serratus anterior is inserted. Insertion of serratus anterior from the dorsal surface, there is origin of latissimus dorsi. Clear? Mm. Now we will move to the muscles 
now we will move to the muscles the muscles related in the scapular surface or the muscles originating from the scapula region okay in the previous video we deal with scapula now the muscles originating from the scapular surface okay muscles originating from scapular surface mainly we have five muscles okay five muscles are originating first one is suprascapularis you see to remember scapula right suprascapularis then we have infrascapularis this suprascapularis and infrascapularis is supplied by suprascapular nerve okay suprascapular nerve the third muscle here is teres minor teres minor this teres minor it is supplied by axillary nerve okay we'll study it later teres minor is supplied by axillary nerve then we have subscapularis muscles this scapular region subscapularis okay then teres major this subscapularis is supplied by this two muscles is supplied by subscapular nerve subscapular nerve okay nerve to subscapularis but you are preparing for many competitive exam right many a uh, high yield high yield topic so in many exams okay we have to clear cut clear cutly know what 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 is the importance here this subscapular nerve they are having two parts upper and lower part okay this subscapular nerve is having upper and lower part okay now if i ask you you are having two friends one is your best friend other is your friend okay and now you got something some something special okay first you will share these two whom yes. your best friend right you will give that to best, best friend. friend same way here subscapular is having upper and lower so this subscapular muscle is supplied by both upper and lower both upper and lower part of subscapular nerve easy to remember because we are talking about scapula this is the scapular main main muscle okay but then teres major it is only getting supply from lower part of subscapular okay so it is asked in many exams so keep in mind okay so this is very important we have five muscles suprascapular infrascapular teres minor subscapularis and teres major okay subscapularis and teres major is supplied by subscapular nerve this subscapular is supplied by both upper and lower part of subscapular because and teres major is only by the lower, lower part clear okay now you got these five muscles okay now i will return this i am raising this see just delete the last muscle okay that is teres major so if we if i delete this last muscle we will get a mnemonics right what is this sits just remember sits okay this sits muscle they together are known as rotator cuff muscle okay rotator cuff muscle they helps in the rotation of shoulder rotator cuff muscle okay so clinically it is very important how clinically if there is any tendinitis of this muscle in the tendon any inflammation in the tendinitis of this four muscle can cause a condition known as frozen shoulder okay the shoulder will be paralyzed we can't move we can't rotate so this lead to a condition known as frozen shoulder okay so this leads to a condition known as frozen shoulder so these six muscles they are together known as rotator cuff muscle there is no teres major here so in mcq you can see they will write instead of minor they will write 
major okay so major is not here so sits they only co form this rotator cuff muscle okay clear yes. so these are the important topics regarding scapula now we will continue to the humerus okay